Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. In today's video I'm going to be continue working on one of my Commodore 64s. The one from the last video that has power, but no picture. I'll have a link to that video in the description. Anyway, we're going to be testing and swapping parts with a known working Commodore to see if we can narrow down what is wrong with it. So, let's head over to the workbench and see what we have to work with today. The top board is the one from the last video, bottom being the one that I know works. I'll start by swapping some of the socketed chips between the two and find out if any of those aren't working. I'm using a tool called the chip lifter for this. You'll want to be super careful and pull this as straight up as you can. Those pins bend really easy and you really do not want to break one. Now we'll just swap this with the same chip on the other board. Looking at this here, the board layout are a little bit different. That or someone else was doing the same thing and placed them in the wrong spot. I'll be honest, I don't know a lot about Commodores. And if you remember from my last video that some of the sockets on the broken board were soldered in the wrong way. So hopefully this is the correct place for this. I'm gonna hook this up and see what we get. Sorry that the TV is off camera. It's a CRT, so it doesn't film well anyway. I'm also using an AV cable as opposed to the RF one from the last video. I was hoping that's what was the issue. Eh, sadly, it wasn't. Power on, and nothing. Okay. I'll hook up the working one and see what we get. Power on, and black screen. Okay, so that more than likely says that this chip is no good. I'll swap back in the good chip and continue testing the rest of the socket of chips. Next one, we get a full boot up. That one's probably fine. Those two chips are fine as well. This one I believe is called the Vic chip. From what I understand, it's pretty important. And that one works just fine. Now that I've swapped a fair amount of the chips around, all seemingly working, I'm going to test out the bad board again. Still no picture. Next, I'm going to take a look at the fuse. Probably something I should have done a little sooner, but better later than never. Just looking at it, I can tell the fuse is blown. I'll put in the good fuse and test again. This time I get a black screen, so that's progress. Swap the good parts into the working system just to make sure that nothing got damaged by the other board. And it all still works. So, I still have some work to do on this board. Okay, so I was able to figure out that the first chip I swapped, the 906114-01, and the fuse were bad in that system. I was able to go from no picture at all to at least a black screen, so we're making progress. I'll, I'll have to do a little bit of research to figure out where to go from here, or if any of you have any ideas, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Otherwise. I hope you liked the video. If you really enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe, as it really helps out me and the channel quite a lot. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.